All right, so in this example, what I have is log base 3 of x times y minus 4 squared. And what I'm asking to do is to expand this. So by applying my laws of um, my properties of logarithms, if you guys have log base b of x times y, we knew that represented, we could rewrite that as log base b of x plus log base b of y. I know I'm using different letters. But do you guys understand, if I have a multiplication of inside of a logarithm, if I have a multiplication inside the logarithm, I can separate that into the addition of two logs with the same base. All right? So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, you can see, well, what is my product that's going on here? I'm multiplying the x times the expression y minus 4. So therefore, that's what I'm going to separate. So this would be log base 3 of x plus log base 3 of y minus 4. A lot of students want to separate the y minus 4, but y minus 4 is an expression. We're going to keep it right there. And it is squared. Then the next logarithm uh, property that we also talked about was if I have um, log base 3 of x squared, or x to the m, we can rewrite that as m times log base 3 to the x. So if I, have a, if I have inside my logarithm is raised to a power, I can bring that now down in front as a multiplication. So therefore, finally, my final answer for this would be log base 3 of x plus 2 log base 3 of y minus 4. And that would be your final answer. OK? So it's Nope, you're just simplifying.